So, uh, coming in today's round in clear second place, he's had a roller coaster getting here, but it's been a successful one. And check this out. I mean, this has been, I've called this the scotch ending for a long, long time. And I would dare tell you that there have been thousands of games literally from this. Can I just describe it as a story? Because this, this seems to have been played so often. Well, a bit of a surprise for me, Bishop Hans. Black pieces is making a gambit of it uh, with the move Bishop G4. Of course, I understand that I don't like playing with any moves like F2, F3, but it does come with a tempo, and I do indeed want your Bishop to go somewhere. Back to my okay. Okay. And yes, then maybe my best move would be to play F3, F2, but in the meanwhile, I do have a I believe during the U.S. Junior Championships, one yep. of the juniors were saying that Bishop G4 is the most accurate move in this position right now. Probably Mishra. <laughs> right, that provides Black with more kind of choices or uh, easier ways to equalize than the recapture on D5. Yeah, modern engines of what they're doing. I wanted to turn our attention back to the ladies for a moment. The game of the Kurdish very many more than that. Right. It's not much. But Bishop to G4 is a move that tries to kill this position. Kill this whole line, right? I'm saying I'm going to exchange everything. I've memorized the engine suggestions and I'm going to be able to defend that position. And in fact, your trump is you have the two bishops, right? That's it. That's, the G6, that's it. You're not no longer having the two bishops because I don't see a good way to uh, avoid this exchange. You cannot move the bishop away to B5 because you lose on C. So bishop to G6 was played. Right? Try to uh, go for my own 
thoughts and attacks. Please be seven if you take on the way I have ideas. Please see it. Position very 